Hi, my name is Michelle McCoy and I am the founder of Autumn Flow. When I discovered my passion for hoop dance, I also felt a very strong calling to use that as a tool to inspire others and help other people experience the immense benefits of hooping for themselves. <laughs> and I want to today specifically talk to new moms and moms of young children because when I was introduced to hoop dance, my oldest, who is now covering my hand with dirt and twigs, <laughs> this is my oldest, Jaden, he's now four, but when I started hooping, he was about 10 months old and I was in a very unstable place mentally and physically. I was having a really hard time adjusting to motherhood and I felt like my whole life had just been flipped upside down. I was always so tired and exhausted and drained of all of my energy and my motivation and I kind of lost my identity and just became a mom. <laughs> that was all I felt like and I didn't have any balance in my life. And hooping really, really helped to restore that balance. And it brought play and fun and movement back into my life. And I really want to just share with you all of the lessons that I took away from that experience. So if there's anything I've learned from motherhood, it is that kids are unpredictable and things are definitely not always going to go as planned. For example, yesterday when I was out here with my kids, I planned on shooting this whole video with them, but they were not having it. So I just surrendered to their will and we just played out here for a little bit and my four-year-old actually ended up taking a nap in that little fort that um, I was mentioning earlier. I think you can see it in the back actually. I was like cracking up because it's usually like World War III trying to get my four-year-old to take a nap and when we were playing he just came out and he was like mom you can can you guys play quiet so I can go take a nap in this fort and I was like okay whatever and then I go to check on him one minute later and he's snoring away it was the funniest thing. Um, so anyways, you just have to learn to be flexible and acceptable in motherhood. And I'm now back for day two of shooting this video. <laughs> and um, to go back to why I started hooping, when you become a mom, your kids become your entire world. And you were their entire world. You were all they know. And it is so easy to forget to take care of yourself. And hooping can be such a great way to de-stress and center yourself among the craziness of motherhood. And don't get me wrong, I love my kids more than anything in the world, but we all need some of that mama time where we can be our own person and put the mama role aside for a while. So basically a mother's well-being is essential, not only for herself, but for the sake of her children as well. And I have come to recognize that my kids are greatly affected by my mood, my energy, my lifestyle, and my hobbies even. And when I first began practicing hoop dancing, in my home and around my kids and I was smiling and laughing more and bringing movement into my body and getting excited towards working towards a goal. It connected me with my inner child and helped me to better relate with my kids and just have fun together and learn and grow. And I realized that I could be a great mom and enjoy that role but also find my own identity as I discovered this passion for hoop dancing. And then you just have to learn how to balance the two. Balance, balance, balance. Isn't everybody always seeking to find that perfect balance in their life? I sure am. And when I decided to make hoop dance part of my lifestyle and I was like all in, totally passionate about it, I was confronted with this challenge of 
finding balance with that and everything else in my life, especially with being a full-time stay-at-home mom with two little needy kids. <laughs> and I have been at two opposite sides of that spectrum. There was one point where I allowed myself to just be completely consumed by my hoop dance practice. I gave it all of my energy, as much time as I could. I let the laundry pile up and the dishes pile up. I was out of balance. I wasn't taking care of these other things in my life that I should have been. And I went to the other side of the spectrum where I did not hoop that often at all. And I lost some of my skills and that was frustrating. But I was being very attentive to my kids and I was keeping up on the housework and I still wasn't feeling satisfied because I wasn't feeding my soul and getting that self-care time. So I started to realize the importance of finding balance between my hoop dance practice and my growing passion and my responsibilities and my greatest loves, which are my kids and my husband and I started to tap into my intuition and us mothers have very strong intuition and if you tap into that, that can really help you come into so much clarity and that essentially helped me find some balance in my life with a lot of other aspects of my life as well. And I know that there are just always changing seasons to life. There are changing seasons to your hoop journey, changing seasons of motherhood. And as one thing changes, another might go out of balance. So you kind of end up going into this adjustment mode where as one thing changes, you adjust another to keep the balance. And I've learned so much of this through my experiences of um, motherhood and becoming a hoop dancer. And I'll give you a quick recap from the beginning. <laughs> when I was pregnant with my first, I gained about 45 pounds and I was not too happy about that. And I did not lose it quickly like I expected to. And that was even more disappointing. And when I started hooping, um, that was after I had the baby. He was about 10 months old at that point. I was so excited to finally be shedding those last pounds of baby weight. And I went all into it and I was doing it with my kid and we were like, dancing to music and our hoops together and got into a really good flow of things. And then I got pregnant again and my energy went way down and I was struggling with a little bit of morning sickness, not nearly as bad as, with, as it was with my first. But I was frustrated because I was losing my progress with the hoop and most days I couldn't even find the strength to pick up my hoop for five minutes. Um, but I eventually just had to make peace with that and know that I was letting my body rest to grow this little baby in my belly. And I did get a little bit more energy back later on in that pregnancy and I actually have a hooping through pregnancy video on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. And I continued to hoop postpartum from that pregnancy which helped me get into shape a lot faster and it really did me wonders mentally as well to have that to go straight to after having my baby. But that was another whole new phase because with a newborn, as I'm sure a lot of you moms can relate, you are extremely sleep deprived. And I had to often choose during my baby's nap times whether to use that as hoop time or rest time for myself. And I had to find a balance there. And now where I'm struggling to find balance is with two kids and all of their needs and one of them in preschool and starting my autumn flow business. And that is just a whole new huge thing that um, I need to take care of, but I love it. And still at the same time, my hoop practice and staying on top of that and keeping my skill level up to par. <laughs> And, um, and I have a two-year-old who is very, very clingy. He's like a total mama's boy. He gets upset if I go in the next room to get a glass of water. And my four-year-old just never stops talking, ever. He just, I don't, I don't even know how he comes up with these things to say. Like, 
he's just non-stop <laughs> and non-stop energy too like can I please just have half of my kids energies <laughs> it's not fair <laughs> kind of a tangent but um, when you just come to the realization that there are so many um, seasons to life and they are always changing and when you are stuck in one that seems really hard and you're having a hard time balancing everything just remind yourself that it'll pass just like every other season does and a new one will come and that's my little <laughs> motivational spiel so not only does hoop dance benefit you as a person and feed your soul and bring more play and joy into your life and give you insight into all of these cool different life lessons it can also teach your children some very valuable lessons of life it can teach them mindfulness because so many aspects of hoop dance is very meditative and they can see this through you and they can experience it for themselves if they too decide to um, start hooping with you and have it become like a mother kid bonding thing um, it can teach them the importance of failure and that it is okay to make mistakes when you are in the creative process that's where you grow and you achieve new skill levels that you may have once thought weren't possible and not to fear failure because it's essential to grow it teaches them to be active and it promotes exercise and exploration and it can boost their confidence it can teach them creativity and play and to learn how to create their own moves or their own ideas of the hoop my four-year-old loves to build forts with the hoop and he's like way better at it than i am i don't even know how he does it let's see something like that <laughs> as a mom it's so important for us to set a good example for our kids and our actions speak so much louder than our words so we just have to keep teaching them and showing them love and light and hooping is just an awesome way to do that so if you haven't yet started your hoop journey and you have some questions, especially as a mother, I'm going to answer them for you. Maybe you're wondering, how could I possibly be capable of learning this form of art and dance? I have no dance background. I'm not coordinated. I have bad balance, blah, blah, blah. Whatever your excuse is, I am all of that too. <laughs> and I have just improved through my practice with the hoop. And you can too. And there was a time when I told myself as a beginner hooper that I would never get to the level of all of these other beautiful, incredible hoopers. But here I am teaching other people how to achieve it. So it can be done. You would be amazed at what you are capable of if you just try. So as far as time, nobody has enough time in their day. <laughs> Nobody, not even I do. I still struggle with that too. But um, you can't really make more time. You have to rearrange your time and prioritize. And you really have to make self-love time a priority because it nourishes your body, your mind, and your soul. And as a mother, that is necessary for the sake of everybody in your house. And um, you can do it in the mornings before your kids wake up. I'm in the process of a self-transformation right now and trying to become a morning person and having a one hour mindful morning time, kid-free, just myself and um, I'm gonna wake up and get refreshed and have a nourishing breakfast and meditate and just get in a mindset to bring on the day before my crazies wake up. So that's an option to do it in the morning or depending on your kids' ages, you could do it during nap time or at bedtime after they go to bed or even during breaks 
if you're working um, or lunch breaks or weekends or have your husband or friend or grandma and grandpa watch the kids for a couple hours so that you can get that self love time that's so important and as far as where to hoop Maybe you have a little house. Hooping kind of requires a lot of room, especially if you don't want to break anything. Um, so enjoy nature. Go exploring. Bring your hoops and your kids with you. I do this all the time, and it turns into some of the sweetest memories. Um, clear some furniture out in temporarily in your living room and hoop there with your kids. Go in the backyard. Go to a park. I'll bring my hoops with me to the park and my kids will play at the park while I'm hooping. And you kind of also just have to learn to embrace the interruptions as a hooping mom because kids don't know those boundaries and you are their world and they want your attention as much as possible. So I've learned to just embrace the interruptions as a frustrating and annoying as they can often be. So whatever phase of motherhood that you are in, whether you are currently pregnant or you are a brand new mom or you're a stay-at-home mom with little kids like me or maybe you're a working mom or you have older kids, I really think that you can benefit tremendously from creating your own hoop journey. And whatever the reason that you want to start hooping or already hooping, whether you started for exercise or creative self-expression or something fun to do with your kids, it is going to bring so much love and light into your life. And for me personally, I started hooping for the exercise aspect of it first because when my baby was born, I instantly lost this privilege of just going to the gym and working out whenever I wanted. And I tried a lot of different workout DVDs at home and they just were not keeping my attention. <laughs> so once I started hoop dancing and I realized how I can bring my own creativity into play with it and all of the different um, benefits associated with it physically, mentally, spiritually, all that good stuff, I was just hooked instantly and it became much more to me than just exercise. So I wanna leave you with one final thought. And I'm probably gonna make a whole separate video just on this subject, but I've been really into exploring this idea of flow in all aspects of my life. And I was first introduced to the idea of getting into a flow state through hooping because in my practice I got to this point where I was able to just let go and surrender to my practice and it was almost like the rest of the world just kind of melted away and it was just me in that present moment and it was just it felt just like pure bliss and I was just moving in perfect rhythm almost like a floating sensation with my hoop and it's an incredible feeling. And then through some research and some learning, I've learned that that flow state can be extended to all other areas of your life, including motherhood. So I really want to explore that more. But I wanna just read you a couple things that I've found. So flow is defined by being completely involved in the process of creating. A sense of ecstasy and detachment from the world. Can't we all use some of that as a mother? <laughs> flow is essentially a balance of control and letting go, just surrendering to the flow. It's a subconscious shift. It's when you let your guard down without realizing it, and that is where transformation happens, when you are in the complete present moment. That sounds amazing, and my next ambition will be to achieve that in all other aspects of my life. But it is starting in my hoop dance practice, and I'm seeing how it can go hand in hand with motherhood. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with that. So I really hope that I have given you enough inspiration and encouragement to try out hoop dancing if you are not doing it already 
And if you have already begun your hoop journey, props to you. I'm sure that it is already benefiting you tremendously as well as your kids or um, any other relationships that you might have. And I hope that you were also able to take something out of this video just about balance and flow and um, getting into tune with your intuition and allowing the hoop to go beyond itself and teach us all of these other awesome life lessons. <laughs>